So I'm feeling really sad right now because we're just out on our evening hike and um, there's a guy on the side of the trail and he's looking at a rattlesnake, this like huge rattlesnake. I've never seen one that side. I know you have, but I haven't yeah. seen one. And it was just on the side of the trail and so we stopped to look at it. A really impressive and beautiful rattlesnake, I hasten to add. Yeah, and then um, a cyclist was coming really fast down the trail, so I yelled out, you know, that there was a, 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 a rattlesnake because I didn't want it to get startled and anyone to get hurt. And so the cyclist stopped and he immediately picked up a rock to kill the rattlesnake. And I said, no, we'll call animal control, you know, don't kill it, we'll, we'll wait here, we'll, you know, we'll make sure that it gets taken care of. And he just insisted on killing the snake and I got really sad. It was very sad. I had a lot more to say than just, I'm gonna call animal control. And I guess this is one of those examples where, well, certainly my emotions got the better of me and his emotions got the better of him, but it's so sad because, you know, there, there is a beautiful species that something to admire and appreciate. And actually there were a couple of people, including ourselves, taking pictures of it. Um, and this guy just, I don't know if he was just pumped up with adrenaline or he's just a, some sort of macho guy decided that he was gonna have his moment in the sun and kill some poor defenseless species. And, um, you know, it's just really sad that people would behave that way. I mean, the snake would have probably just quite happily gone on its merry way. And, and the point is, there's probably 500,000 more of them in these hills. And he thinks he's gonna make a big difference by killing one. So I don't know really what to say on that and other than I, I just feel you know like you I feel sad I guess I also there's an opportunity for me to pay maybe not get so riled up in those situations I know that's the other thing Angus is like what did, I don't know what you call this guy name you start yelling at him and I'm like oh my god this guy's gonna just start trying to beat you up like I started getting worried <laughs> about that I was too big for him <laughs> stupid little man but I guess you know being in this real human experience of emotions it's just you know that happens to us and I did get caught up in my thinking around the snake and this guy and you know just and I still feel sad about it and yeah you know, nothing I think it's a shame just to see, see something so magnificent be killed needlessly and you know maybe other people have different opinion about metal snakes and they you know there have been people whose dogs have been killed by them but you know, our dog got bitten by a rattlesnake, but we still have a different point of view, a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Luckily, our dog survived, but you know, that's just a part of the environment. We, you know, we are the invasive species, as it were. Right. So we should live and let live. That's my stance. Yeah, we're in, we're enjoying the wilderness. Yeah. They're not in our backyard. Yeah, the wilderness and all its pitfalls. Right. It's a jungle out there. So a little bit of sad vlog today. <laughs> Sorry to be a downer on your Friday. Yeah. All right, take care.